Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick review on the Wingsland S6. It's got a 4K camera, takes uh, 13 megapixel pictures. Did a little unboxing today and a little bit of uh, Trial. flight trial. Let's see here. Really nice box. Awesome box. It's got a little magnet in there. All these little safety things. Let's see what we got in the box here. Awesome packaging. Got the battery, the charger, some little thing there. I don't know what that is. The little charger for it, cable, uh, the quick start guide. Now, let's see this. Let me tell you a little bit about this drone. It's a little pocket drone, comes in a nice little case. Really nice case, actually. Got little rubber stoppers on the side there, keep it in place. It's a, it's a pocket drone. It's a foldable arm pop out here. Let's see. I didn't put the battery in. Um, it's well made. You can see it's a pretty solid drone. Uh, my brother and I, we have several drones from DJI and Parrot. And we were kind of impressed with this one. Um, it's got a stationary camera. It doesn't have a gimbal. And, uh, you know, it's got nice props. And there, there's just one thing about this. It's a POS and it doesn't work. And this is actually the second one uh, because Wingsland sent me this back after I sent the original one in because it wouldn't work and this is the second one that they sent and I got a hold of someone from customer service today and I think I called China I'm not sure I know it's a Chinese product I called a California number but uh, I got a Chinese woman who didn't speak very well English at all and uh, I'm not sure exactly if she understood English either but uh, it's a nice looking, nice looking drone. They're not cheap, people. They're $300. They're $300 for this. And the concept in itself is definitely worth $300. And, and the, the reviews I watched um, kind of gave me a little bit of warning. But I thought, eh, you know, a lot of people are biased, especially people that spend 